The best way to fail at making video games is to never try. But let's assume you do try. Here's how to fail. So you've got a game and you've heard from pretty much everyone that you need to add game feel for your game to be any good. So obviously the best thing to do here is to just not add anything and call your game done. Everyone loves a flat, dry, motionless game where the player can question if their input is even being received. Plus, you've already done really well by not including any game feel in your design up to this point. Can you imagine if you had had game feel in mind during every step of the process? Oh, you might have succeeded. When it comes to game feel, a large part of it is all about helping the player's input in the game be felt and be fun. So obviously, this means screen shake. Lots of it. Make the screen violently fly out of control every time something in the game touches something else. You don't want a healthy balance of screen shake depending on your game. Instead, either have vertical inducing amounts of screen shake or none at all. Along with that, try to make your controls feel sluggish or disconnected with long animations that can't be cancelled or changed. Unless that is exactly what your specific game needs, can you imagine a platformer feeling precise? Or a Souls-like with carefully planned and tested longer animations added in order to enhance the risk-reward strategy of combat? That would be stupid. Besides, you are far too creative and the restrictions of appropriately responsive controls for your genre might limit your ingenious design. Don't bother adding things that make a computer's exact calculations more natural and forgiving, such as coyote time, jump buffering, varying jump height, and appropriately generous collision shapes. As I've said before, these are just crutches for weak players. If a player can't handle the exact precision of their computer, then maybe they aren't cut out to play your amazing game anyway. The best mistake you can make is to forget that game feel is about far more than just showing player input. If you have forgotten that, please ignore what I just said and stick to adding screen shake. And if you haven't forgotten, here's what you can do to fix the situation. Because game feel is also about communicating motivation to the player, try to ignore the theme of your game. If you have a stealth game, put in bright and cheery music. Or if it's a futuristic sci-fi puzzle game, have un finished graphics and placeholders because those look sci-fi enough. Highly immersive story, environment, UI, and theme might help the player feel motivated to achieve the goal set in game, which is bad, because if players win your game, they might stop playing it, and we wouldn't want that, right? Consider the feel you might want for a cat and mouse horror game. Having tight corridors and interconnected rooms would be an ideal environment. So don't do that. For whatever game you have, just make a play space that looks cool. That's all that really matters. Besides, all that ideal environment to emphasize your game stuff is difficult, and it takes playtesting, and you will likely have to toss out and redo large portions of your game, so don't risk it. Game feel is polish, and polishing a game is really secondary, and quite unnecessary. So therefore, there's no need to waste your time. Adding basic mechanics and accessibility don't really have anything to do with the gameplay anyway. The more you can have the player ask, why didn't the developer just add this? the better. The point of adding game feel is to make your game fun, which means if you do it right you can turn even the most boring, pathetic, stupid game into something fun to interact with. Take Dwarf Fortress for example. Only after it got some sprites and the ability to actually use a mouse did it sell millions of copies. The 20 years of development forming the most complex and intricate world building, storytelling mechanics in the world, coupled with base building and colony management mechanics that have inspired some of the most popular games to date have nothing to do with it. Nope, the only thing that made this game fun was the addition of sprites. I mean, Look at this. So don't bother perfecting your game's core mechanics and gameplay. Just focus on game feel, specifically screen shake. And if you can trick the player into thinking they're having fun, then it's basically the same thing as actually having fun, right? Anyway, if you follow these instructions exactly, then you are bound to succeed at failure. Hey, thanks for watching. I actually really appreciate it. It's it's hard to make these videos. You know, it's you wouldn't think it's hard, but it's hard to come up with sarcastic things to say. And then also turn those nebulous subjects into artwork. If you have any ideas, though, for other game development things that I could turn into artwork and be sarcastic about, let me know, and, and maybe I'll do it, or just ignore you. You know, I, I reserve that right. Bye.